Get ready to embark on another exciting English learning journey through storytelling. Today's tale is sure to captivate your imagination and boost your language skills. If you enjoy this story, please give it a thumbs up and don't miss out on future adventures by subscribing to our channel. Join us as we explore the magic of English through stories. Today we will talk about how children learn language, theories of language acquisition. Psychological theories of language learning differ in terms of the importance they place on nature versus nurture, yet it is clear that both matter. Children are not born knowing language. They learn to speak by hearing what happens around them. On the other hand, human brains, unlike those of any other animal, are pre-wired in a way that leads them, almost effortlessly, to learn language. Perhaps the most straightforward explanation of language development is that it occurs through principles of learning, including association, reinforcement, and the observation of others. Skinner, 1965. There must be at least some truth to the idea that language is learned, because children learn the language that they hear spoken around them rather than some other language. Also supporting this idea is the gradual improvement of language skills with time. It seems that children modify their language through imitation, reinforcement, and shaping, as would be predicted by learning theories. But language cannot be entirely learned. For one, children learn words too fast for them to be learned through reinforcement. Between the ages of 18 months and 5 years, children learn up to 10 new words every day. Anglin, 1993. More importantly, language is more generative than it is imitative. Generativity refers to the fact that speakers of a language can compose sentences to represent new ideas that they have never before been exposed to. Language is not a predefined set of ideas and sentences that we choose when we need them, but rather a system of rules and procedures that allows us to create an infinite number of statements, thoughts, and ideas, including those that have never previously occurred. When a child says that she swimmed in the pool, for instance, she is showing generativity. No adult speaker of English would ever say swimmed, yet it is easily generated from the normal system of producing language. Other evidence that refutes the idea that all language is learned through experience comes from the observation that children may learn languages better than they ever hear them. Deaf children whose parents do not speak ASL very well nevertheless are able to learn it perfectly on their own, and may even make up their own language if they need to Golden Meadow and Mylander, 1998. A group of deaf children in a school in Nicaragua, whose teachers could not sign, invented a way to communicate through made-up signs. Singhas, Singhas, and Pyres, 2005. The development of this new Nicaraguan sign language has continued and changed as new generations of students have come to the school and started using the language. Although the original system was not a real language, it is becoming closer and closer every year, showing the development of a new language in modern times. The linguist Noam Chomsky is a believer in the nature approach to language arguing that human brains contain a language acquisition device that includes a universal grammar that underlies all human language. Chomsky, 1965-1972 According to this approach, each of the many languages spoken around the world, there are between 6,000 and 8,000, is an individual example of the same underlying set of procedures that are hardwired into human brains. Chomsky's account proposes that children are born with a knowledge of general rules of syntax that determine how sentences are constructed. Chomsky differentiates between the deep structure of an idea, how the idea is represented in the fundamental universal grammar that is common to all languages, and the surface structure of the idea, how it is expressed in any one language. Once we hear or express a thought in surface structure, we generally forget exactly how it happened. At the end of a lecture, you will remember a lot of the deep structure, i.e. the ideas expressed by the instructor, but you cannot reproduce the surface structure, the exact words that the instructor used to communicate the ideas. Although there is general agreement among psychologists that babies are genetically programmed to learn language, there is still debate about Chomsky's idea that there is a universal grammar that can account for all language learning. 
Evans and Levinson, 2009, surveyed the world's languages and found that none of the presumed underlying features of the language acquisition device were entirely universal. In their search, they found languages that did not have noun or verb phrases, that did not have tenses, e.g. past, present, future, and even some that did not have nouns or verbs at all, even though a basic assumption of a universal grammar is that all languages should share these features. Thanks for watching. Please make to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. See you in the next episode. Till then, bye bye.